Hey guys, this is Dr. Hannah Cho here. So this video is actually only for optometrists and more specifically optometrists that are interested in owning their own practice. And I'm talking about a private optometry office. So if this applies, continue to listen. So the question that I get asked the most is always related to how did you open your practice cold? What materials, how much do I need? How much do I expect to generate, you know, for from the private practice? And so what I thought would be really interesting and helpful is to start a mini series and basically take you you guys along the journey with us so I actually do have two colleagues that I'm working with currently we're partnering up to create a practice cold and kind of show you guys you know the ins and outs of what opening a practice like that entails so I think it's really really helpful that's something that I wish I had when I was starting my practice cold because I did it right when I graduated and so I had to learn a lot of stuff on my own and I had a few mentors uh, that did help but I think this would have been very very helpful because then I can you know decide whether I wanted to go into it be better prepared and try to not make mistakes or waste time which is actually one of my biggest pet peeves if you guys are interested uh, definitely hop over to the flow ppm website um, I'll go ahead and link it somewhere over here go take a look and we'll take you from start to finish and you'll also get the insight from the doctors and the colleagues that are gonna be partnering with Flow PPM and see how they're really feeling and their experience with it. I think that would be also very helpful. So in case you guys don't know, we do have a program with Flow PPM where we're trying to partner with optometrists who are interested in owning a private practice and we're giving them the tools that they need. So um, the two main obstacles that I think doctors that are graduating face is number one, they have a huge amount of student loans and they don't have any ways to finance it because usually banks don't like to lend out loans unless you have at least two or three years of working experience. And the other obstacle is they're not experienced in running a business. I think that's the case for most of the optometrists. So we also help with that because we have tons of tools. We have our Flow PPM software, which is excellent at generating more profit and also minimizing the time that staff take to do you know kind of repetitive tasks we try to automate a lot of it so the software is excellent right now we're testing it out to kind of get the data to see how much it actually can improve a practice but we're launching it in nine months for the next version and um, that's going to be our final launch that's in May 2020 and so if you guys go to that website you can learn more about it you can join the waitlist to make sure that you're one of the first people to learn about that software but um, yeah, go ahead and head, head over to the Flow PPM website because it also has the application if you're interested in becoming a partner with Flow PPM to create a office together. To kind of give you a very brief summary of that, I know I'm taking a lot of your guys' time. We basically partner up with the optometrist that is interested at the beginning. We provide them with all the business tools and we try to teach them everything so they're autonomous and we give them all the access to software and all the stuff that I learned as a business owner, basically just implementing everything so you guys can start the ground running. And we also like find the location and we can finance the practice. So that's kind of, I think the best case scenario for the optometrist uh, that I can think of. So yeah, if you guys are interested, make sure you fill out an application. We do kind of screen to make sure that the optometrist that we're gonna partner with is ideal. And what I mean by ideal is that they have a great attitude, they're humble. Number two, that they have a very forward thinking innovative mindset uh, like a growth mindset I think that's really important especially in the environment nowadays because there's a lot a lot of competition so those are the two main things and um, also must have a great personality the patients should want to see that doctor which I think is most uh, if not all optometrists but yeah um, so I guess I'll see you guys soon in different um, episodes at Flow PPM thank you